Hey, welcome to another edition of Rock Peaks. This week we've got Brett Denon, Richard Ashcroft, Alice Cooper, Tom Waits, and Neil Diamond. Stay tuned. All right, we know it's a little bit early to be making picks like this, but Brett Denon's Sydney I'll Come Running is currently our top contender for the Feel Good Song of the Summer. It's taken from his upcoming fourth album, Loverboy, which will be out on April 12th. We first heard Brett Denon back in 2006 when uh, KCRW's Nick Harcourt started playing Ain't No Reason on his Morning Becomes Eclectic radio show. The album that song's taken from, so much more, became a bit of a slow burner that year as its songs started uh, popping up in TV shows and movie soundtracks and the album just really started to rocket up the charts. I got a basket for lemons and they all say the same A window in a pigeon with a broken wing You can spend your whole life working for something to have it taken away And people walk a tightrope on a racist day Carrying their hurt and hatred and weapons It could be a bomb or a bullet or a thing or a thought of a word with his shock of orange hair and his towering height, Denon's got a pretty unusual look going on. And he was uh, clearly between stylists when he showed up for this uh, 2009 Craig Ferguson gig. Check out what a wonderful textured sound he's laying down. A genre spanning blend of folk and jazz and soulful mid 70s balladry, capped off by what is probably one of the most distinctive voices currently working in pop. I'm amazed I have it yet. Richard Ashcroft is another artist who certainly knows how to push product in this media fractured age. He recently released Futures Bright, a rocking new song written expressly for the opening title sequence of the Matt Damon film, The Adjustment Bureau. Ashcroft's fourth post-verve album, The United Nations of Sound, was released in North America last week, almost nine months after its UK debut. Here he is on the Jimmy Fallon show on March 22nd, playing the lead-off track from it, Are You Ready? a song that he co-wrote with none other than Robin Gibb of Bee Gees fame. Alice Cooper brought a special guest with him when he stopped in to The Tonight Show last week. It was uh, Dweezil Zappa who showed off his legendary guitar chops on a blistering version of School's Out. The uh, Cooper-Zappa connection runs pretty deep, of course as Rob Zombie reminded us a few days earlier when inducting Alice into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In 1969, a very special event happened. It was in Venice, California, at the Cheetah Club, where a new band, Alice Cooper, appeared on stage. You say that now, but not in 1969, because that show is famous for the fact that within five minutes, they cleared the room. Everyone hated him, except one man who saw the beauty, and that was Frank Zappa. It was then up to Alice himself, who uh, wore a blood-splattered shirt and draped himself with his large albino python, also called Alice, to uh, list off some of his rock and roll heroes. You know, we were the first generation brought up by the Beatles and the Stones 
But the bands that really hit home for us were the Yardbirds, the Who, the Kinks. They gave us our musical education. I hope I never outgrow a Pete Townsend windmill chord. I hope I never outgrow a Jeff Beck lead guitar. Feels like I'm living in the middle of doubt. back to the anthemic Schools Out Again, featuring the same bunch of kids from the Ronald McDonald House Choir, who were sporting the Coop's traditional black eye makeup and uh, sounding uh, just a little bit off key. Highlights included the induction of New Orleans legend Dr. John, who serenaded us with a little bit of right place, wrong time. Although clearly on this night he was in the right place at the right time. Young then inducted Tom Waits, who uh, predictably got a few good wisecracks off during his acceptance speech. I just want to know if there's a keychain version of this so I can keep it with me. Just in case I hear someone say, Pete, take the cups off. I think he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, so just a pocket version of the same thing would be perfect for me. Thank you. Waits then treated the crowd to some of his trademark dirty blues, including the uh, eponymous title track from his 1985 masterpiece of urban dispossession, Rain Dogs. Black of a raven, I know how we done, and she whispered to me that we never be going. All right, well, the most bizarre moment of the night was one that uh, you didn't catch if you watched the TV broadcast. But don't worry, we've got the highlights, and the uh, whole messy clip is available on our website. We're talking, of course, about Neil Diamond's rambling, incoherent, expletive-filled acceptance speech, in which uh, alcohol consumption may or may not have been a factor. Flying back tomorrow to Sydney, fucking Australia. <laughs> $3,000 seats, $3,000 seats, $3,000 seats. I'm the only person in this room who loves Irving Azoff. And Irving, I'm sorry, but that's it, you know, and you don't give a shit. <laughs> Poor Paul, I, he got snookered into coming up here and introducing me. He's, you're a great guy. He's got a new album coming out called So Beautiful or So What? It's a tough album title, Paul. When you told it to me, I didn't like it, but I didn't have the nerve to tell you because it's too hard to remember. I just got off tour from Australia. I, was, I did a show two days ago. I got on a plane commercial. Yesterday, I've been flying my ass off for 25 hours. I got in this morning. I have no idea where we are. And what, what are we doing here? What the heck is going on here? Where are we? What time is it? What day is it? And what the fuck is this country? <laughs> Just give me one more second. I'm going to tweet this and tell everybody out there that they really all do love me in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, if I had a speech, I'd make it. I don't have a speech. So that's all I'm going to say. God bless you. Thank you so much. This whole boozy monologue runs an astonishing eight and a half minutes, if you can believe it. But what's more incredible is that Diamond then returned to the stage to perform his mega hit, Sweet Caroline. We're coming in just as he flows into the audience, desperately seeking a duet partner for this song. I'm Barnaby Marshall. We'll see you in seven on Rock Peaks. I love you. Don't seem so lonely. You fill it up. With only two, I'm gonna ask you to sing the next chorus with me, all right? 
Hey, little kid, come here. You know how to sing this song? You better. All right. I need everybody to put their hands together. Sing it with me. See how we do. Robbie, you want to try it? Come on. Sweet Caroline. The times never seem so good. All right. Let me get through here. Here we go. The times never seem so good. You keep practicing, you're going places. Ah. 